In today's video, we're opening up our favorite TCG, Yu-Gi-Oh! versus everyone's new favorite TCG, One Piece. What's up guys, we're back with another Versus video. Here live on Twitch, we're getting a little preview for some of the Twitch viewers. We have a giveaway before we hop into the Versus battle. I'll be giving away this amazing Defenders box. All you have to do is like the video, be subscribed, turn on notifications, and let me know what you think will win. One Piece? or Yu-Gi-Oh. I think it should be a pretty interesting opening. All right, here are our packs. I only got six One Piece packs. Shout out to Daxter, a ultimate member of the channel. He sent me these. He's like, hey man, I got a few packs, six packs. You interested? And I was like, of course, I want to check out One Piece. I want to get more, but they're really hard to find. So we got some One Piece packs here. Shout out to Daxter. I was only able to get six, so we got to do a six versus six battle. I've got six Pretty much some OG stuff from Yu-Gi-Oh! So we got a reprint pack of IOC, First Dead Power of the Duelist, we got a First Dead Judgment of the Light, First Dead Cross Souls, Unlimited Ancient Prophecy, and an Unlimited Stardust Overdrive. So a nice variety there, but there's not a whole lot of packs. So it's going to be a little bit of a shorter video. I would like to do more One Piece at some point if I can get a hold of it. This is all we've got right now. So let's just hop into the battle. We're going to have a score on the screen so you guys can see like who won the battle based on value. Here we go. I think because Yu-Gi-Oh! is the older one, they're going to go first. So they're going to start it off with a Stardust Overdrive pack. Let's see if we can pull a Ghost Rare. How about that? Hmm? Could be clutch. Could be clutch. Ghost Rare. I mean, we take a Majestic Star. I've never pulled it before. So I would be okay starting right now versus One Piece. We have a Gemini Spark, not bad. We got a Swap Frog, pretty decent. Spida Spida Egg, Time Passage, it's the Time Wizard's uh, girlfriend or something. Ground Spider, the Spider of the Ground, Ruler of the Earthbound. Also a very creepy looking card. I mean, look at that. Look at those eyeballs. Where are they looking? I mean, what is in those eyeballs? I don't see anything. Syngro Barrier. We've got an Earthbound Revival. That's a rare. And then will we get a foil in this pack? No, we get a Level Eater, which was pretty crazy for a while, but... Not anymore. Okay, next pack, One Piece. This is my first time ever opening a One Piece pack. I'm a little bit excited, I'm not gonna lie. I really don't know a whole lot about this, except that in the set, there are like $1,000 cards and like $250. Like, the, the prices are insane. Like a full box of this, I think on TCG Player was $250 at the time of recording this. So it's extremely expensive, 12 cards per pack. So they do have a couple extra cards to work with. I don't really know how the rarities work, so we're just gonna have to figure it out as we go. Hopefully I'll be able to open up more at some point. Wait, is this the, what is this? One Piece Film Red. So that's that's just a uh, promotional card or something? Your turn. Okay, so a little extra card in there. I don't know any pack tricks for this, so we're just going to go into it. I know there are some like parallel rares and stuff, but I don't know exactly what they look like. So we have Elephants March You. Is this going to give me spoilers for, for One Piece? I've only seen like 310 episodes, okay? So I'm a little bit behind. Miss Double Finger Zala. Okay, 4,000. These look pretty cool. Hiro Goro. That guy's creepy. I haven't seen any of these people, so these are definitely spoilers for me. We have a mocha, okay, so like coffee, I guess. No, I don't know. Round table, so we're gonna get uh, the Knights of the Round Table here. Very nice. Got Scratchman, a poo. I don't recognize any of these people. Give me some OGs, One Piece. Come on. We got Kawamatsu. That guy's. What is he wearing right there? Pretty cool. I'll, I'll, I'll take that. Otama. I give it. Where are the members of the crew? We need some Luffy. We need some. Uh, some Zoro, you know, where are they at? Mr. One, Daz Bones, also kind of cool looking. Oh, okay. Trafalgar Law. Wait, why does this look like Zoro? <laughs> it's like Zoro's dressed up. Trafalgar Law, okay. A Dinjiro, wait, is that a hollow? How am I supposed to tell? This looks hollow. So this looks like a rare right here. And then, whoa, that looks like a rare. So you get two rares? Wait, it says R down there. And that one's an R, so we've got two rares. Okay, so according to chat, this means a leader card. So this one I don't think is hollow, but it is a leader card, so we'll put that aside. Then we have what appears to be a hollow Dinjiro, Dinjiro, and then another hollow Do Flamingo. Very cool. Look at this dude. He's awesome. Okay, we got a rare. So another hollow. So multiple hollows in the same pack. I don't know if that's normal or not. All right. So it seems like there's a lot more chances for like value in those one piece packs. One, because they're harder to find than pretty much anything else. And then because there's multiple hollows at the end, which is pretty cool. So let's see if Yu-Gi-Oh can pull something big and maybe uh, give them a little lead because right now it seems like they are in trouble. Ancient Prophecy. We could get the Ghost Rare Ancient Fairy Dragon. It could be insane. We got Ancient Crimson Ape. Genetic Woman. It's a woman that's genetic. Shark Cruiser. Kwakimiru Boulder. Imperial Custom. Pretty cool artwork on that. I've never seen that before. Blackwing Mistral, the Silver Shield. Infernity Blast. We have a Truth of Reinforcement. And our final card. Is it a foil? 
Fossil Dig, actually a pretty good common out of the set. I think this is the original print of this. If you like dinos, that's a great card, but not worth too much. We're gonna have to go back to One Piece. Here we go. One Piece Romance Dawn. Let's go. Can we pull something epic? Okay, so apparently this is the resource system of the of the game. So those are pretty nice. We'll put that aside. Uh, it turns out the hollows are right at the back, which is nice. You don't got to do any pack tricks or anything. You're like, nope, just put it right to the back. We got a Krieg. Green Star Rafflesia. That's a Yu-Gi-Oh. Speed. Okay, what in the world is happening there? Marco. Look, these are all new. I need a, I need an old person from One Piece. <laughs> Urashima. Wow. Urashima. 9,000 seems good. It's not over 9,000 like Dragon Ball Z, but it's close. We've got a wire. Also cool. Shinobu, I'm definitely gonna have to catch up. 700 episodes behind. A lot has happened since then. Okay, guys. Izo, all right, nice. Who's who? Who's dot who? Is that dot matter? Who's dot who? Okay. Demon face, the face of the demon. That's an uncommon. We have a Nami. Nami has a rare. That's good. And then, ooh, what is this? A king, this looks insane. So we got Nami and King, that seems good. Nami's gotta be good, right? I mean, you guys know why. Nami is always gonna be value, right? So there's Nami, and then there's King. I don't know King because uh, he is not in the first 310 episodes. You know what I'm saying? So this seems like a pretty good pack here. That seems pretty strong. So it appears in that pack we didn't get a leader, so I guess that's not an every pack thing. So I guess that was good to get one in the first pack. Okay, let's keep going. Uh, but you guys are gonna see a very short video, but in reality, it's gonna be like an hour of stream me talking like, what is what is this card? <laughs> you know, one, two, three, because so far I've only known Nami. That's the only card I've known. All right, we got a Zephyr Saber Swordmaster of the Necros. Nice. Chosen of Zephyr. We are opening Cross Souls. We could get the, what is it called? The clearest, not the crystal clear, the clear wing synchro dragon. And then they made a crystal clear ghost rare. Edge M Saw. We've got an Infernoid Shiette. We've got a Half Unbreak. Fluffle Sheep. The sheep is fluffing. Dizzying Wind of a Yosin Village. Fusion Conscription. And will this be a Ghost or Ultimate Rare or Secret Rare behind this? We'll have to see. It is a Super Rare. Super Heavy Samurai. I could say Super Super Heavy Samurai Battle Ball. There we go. That's how you do it. That is a card. I think this is actually like $3 for some reason. I don't think it has a reprint recently. That is the first good card for Yu-Gi-Oh! The Super Super Heavy Samurai Battle Ball. Battle Ball. That is difficult. Tongue twister, let me tell you. All right, Yu-Gi-Oh! You've at least put yourself on the board, I think. One Piece is back. So far, these have been insane. I mean, we got a couple of hits in the last one. It seemed like we did pretty well. Let's see if we can pull. There's an alternate art... Whatever the dude's name is, that's Luffy's, like, brother or whatever it is. Not brother, but he's, like, his mentor guy. Yeah, look, I'm a noob at One Piece. But he is, like, 900-something dollars for a, for the alternate art. We got Bellamy. Let's go. We got the Hajrudin. The Babang. Pacifista. Pacifista. We've got Carrot. Wait, what? It's a walking carrot. Oh, my goodness. Sachi. All right, all right. Atsuru. Atsuru. Tony, Tony, Chopper, Chopper! I know Chopper, that's an OG. We've got Ulti Mortar, all right. Now that they're headbutting each other. That seems like an arc I don't want to miss right there. We have Arlong, Arlong, oh, Arlong. This guy, I know him, the shark guy. Okay, he's pretty He's pretty old. Okay, Arlong, that's cool. Caesar Clown, is that a foil? Yes, a rare Caesar Clown, and what else? <gasps> We've got a Thunder Bagua. Bagua? Is that what you say? Thunder something? I don't know. That guy is cool looking though. The gold borders. That is sick. All right. So that seemed like a pretty decent pack. I think One Piece has a good chance right now of winning, but we have Judgment of the Light. You got to believe if you're a Yu-Gi-Oh fan. Let's go. Can we get the Star Eater Ghost Rare? There's some other cool stuff in here as well, like Star Eater Ultimate Rare. How about that? Let's see if we can pull it. Umbral Horror Ghoul. We have one super so far. Fencing Fire Fair. Come on, Yu-Gi-Oh fans. Rise up in the chat and the comments. Bajingi Warg. Reverse Glasses. The Calibrator. Fishborg Archer. Intercept Tomato. We have a Moon Dance Ritual. And will we pull something? Yes! A number C39 Utopia Ray Victory. This card used to be like a $20 super. I don't know if it's still up there, but I think it is a pretty strong super. This can also be an ultimate rare in the set. Pretty nice card. I actually have a PSA 10 of an ultimate rare of that. Really nice artwork on that. One Piece, it's your chance to fight back. Okay, Yu-Gi-Oh is actually not doing too bad. A couple of supers, but both money supers actually, which is pretty unusual for Yu-Gi-Oh having money supers. I'm struggling to open this pack right now, but let's do that. 
We have another red. Two foils at the back. Let's see what we can get. You should be my samurai. I would rather you have all. I'd rather have you all. You can be my samurai. We got a sigh. We've got a smiley. That does not look smiley. That is scary. We have Bartol Bartolomeo. Korozuma. Sumimaru. It would help if I had watched this. Simimaru. We have a uh, Jean Bart. Conjuro. All right, Conjuro. Demon face, pretty cool and pretty scary. You think? Okay, which is prettier, this or the uh, or the snake from Yu-Gi-Oh? What's it called? The Serpentine Princess. Which one's which one's more beautiful? We have a Mr. Two Bond, Mr. Two. Oh, this is the numbered guys, isn't it? It's the numbered guys. That's what this is about. We have uncommons. We have a Komorasaka. Komorasaka. Here comes a foil potentially. Oh, an ulti, an ultimate rare. We pulled an ultimate rare. Let's go. And we have. Uh oh. Roa Noah Zora! <laughs> Let's go! I don't know which one is the best one, but this looks nice. Hollow Roa Nora Zoro. That is insane. Regular. Oh, super rare! Super rare! That's a big hit. $35 right there. You know why? It's because we pulled an ultimate rare. Ulti and then the Roa Nora Zoro. That is an awesome card. Woo! that is clean look at that those borders look amazing look at that Roranoa Zoro. that is amazing and that's actually look a main character that i know that's great <laughs> okay Yu-Gi-Oh. it is not looking good for you right now Yu-Gi-Oh is in big trouble let's uh you know actually i think our best value chance is out of power of the duelist so let's save that for the end invasion of chaos let's get a ced real quick that could like counteract the Zoro. that'd be about 35 bucks i think something maybe a little bit less Let's see if we can get it. Ojama Delta Hurricane, Soul Absorption. Come on, Yu-Gi-Oh fans. Granadora, Chaos End. We have the Ryu Koki awesome card right there. Anti-Aircraft aircraft Flower. For some reason, I can't say that. Anti-Aircraft Flower. There we go. Smashing Ground. We have a Fuma Shuriken. And... Giga Gaga Gigo. That is not what we are looking for. That is just a regular rare. One Piece has only opened four packs and has already pulled a big time card, a 30 plus dollar card. What else can we get? We have another red card for One Piece. Let's flip that over there. So far, One Piece has been killing it. We have Crescent Cutlass. Very nice. The Bao Huang. Virgo. He looks like a chef. Sleep's Horn. Caribou. All right, Caribou. Babanuki. The Penguin. It's like Penguin from Batman. Basil Hawkins. Baroque Works. I do know them. The Baroque Works. King. That is a still a common. Okay. We have, Oh, no. That wasn't still a common. What was that? Oh, this is a leader, maybe. I can't see. I just assumed it was a common because it was one letter. Bartholomew Kuma Hollow. And our final card is a queen what who is this oh my gosh i gotta finish one piece guys there's too many characters i'm missing out on these guys look awesome last two packs so far we can show you the prices what they're doing it seems like one piece might have a large lead but don't worry all it takes is one ultimate rare from power of the duelist to really help us out here Yu-Gi-Oh fans let's go shout out to my Yu-Gi-Oh fans out there aka everyone who's subscribed to my channel because that's why you're subscribed here we go one two three i'm gonna do three just so we don't ruin it ambulance roid Decoy Roid, come on. Miracle Jurassic Egg. I think it actually is four from the back. I'm going to do that. Bite Lawn. Yeah, okay. Flying Saucer. We got a Baby Sarasaurus for our Dino fans. We've also already pulled the Fossil Dig, so that's cool. Crystal's Dolphin. We have Paths of Destiny, and here's our chance, Yu-Gi-Oh. Can we get the Chimera Tech Over Dragon? Let's go. Overload Fusion, and that is probably the end of our Yu-Gi-Oh chances, but don't worry. One Piece could pull a final epic card to end it right here. Just to really rub it in the Yu-Gi-Oh face. Let's do this. We will possibly have to do a rematch of this. Because it's a low sample size, okay? Maybe Yu-Gi-Oh would win if we had more packs. Alvita. Cavendish. Officer Agents. Holandem. Bellamy. The <laughs> Nekomamoshi. The Fukurokuju. The Shachi, I'm struggling. We got the Brook. Okay, Brook, nice and easy to read there. Perona, is this the next one? Okay, that looks like an uncommon, so I think this is it. Nico Robin, we got a Robin. So we're getting a lot of uh, classic characters. And a, ooh, a Kaido. That guy looks sick. Kaido with the purple looking sword. That is really nice. Okay, that's a good way to end it. A nice silver bordered 
purple Kaido. I like that. And then, of course, a Nico Robin, which is a classic character for One Piece. So I feel like we pulled really, really well from the One Piece. Yu-Gi-Oh! wasn't that bad, but... I think we probably know. Just show the show how it went, guys. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel for more epic content like this, and let me know if you want to see more One Piece packs open. Shout out to Tone Fo Show, Daxer, JT Cho, Puffins of Doom, Ernesto Deanna, Dizzy, Flexi Boy, Hoppus, Choice 333, Micycle, James Jance, TCG Trusted Cards, America Deutscher, Supreme, Sage 21, Frankie Martinez, Nana Tai Show, Ian Moosa, Junior Barding, Mimic Gecko, Shadowfall, and Thomas McLean. Thank you guys for supporting the channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.